Hello everyone, it's Kieran from Trilloc, BC, Canada. You are watching Trucker Josh Vlogs on TJB. Enjoy the video. Well, I'm all dressed up again. My glasses are fogging up. Oh boy, that means it's going to be a good day, right? So we're here picking up our steel in Tennessee, Jackson, Tennessee. I gotta go find my trailer. I just gave them my empty. So I gotta go find my trailer that's already been loaded, tie it down. Hopefully they got no cardboard on it because they say if there's any cardboard boxes on it, I gotta tarp those. So we talked about this yesterday. But anyways, let's go see if we can find it. There's two drops on it. One's going to Weyburn, Saskatchewan, and one's going to Regina, Saskatchewan. I've never had a two-dropper steel load, but apparently they put a green sticker on everything going to Regina. So it's going to be kind of a pain unloading half of it in Weyburn, tying it down again, going down to Regina, and unloading the rest of it. Hopefully they, like, divided it up properly. So one of these trailers down here is mine. Which one, which one? Please be easy to tie down. I see a lot of cardboard boxes on all of these trailers. Where is it? Where's my trailer? None of these, no, none of these. Look at that one, that one's all cardboard boxes. You'd have to, you'd have to tarp the whole thing on that one. It's not my trailer though. Okay, so we're not here. What is this? Oh, this is nailed down. Okay, holding that there. So there is some cardboard. I'm gonna have to tarp this front piece. Cardboard there, card but they leave it out in the rain, right? But they're like, oh, you gotta tarp it. We're gonna leave it out in the rain, but we don't want it to get wet. So you gotta tarp it. Okie dokie. So you got these pink stickers. These are the ones going to Weyburn, I believe. And they're supposed to be green ones somewhere. Here's another pink one. It's not very big though, right? Eh? There's no cardboard back here, so I don't have to tarp this back, back part. Okay. Well, I see a little bit of... No, they just said if it was cardboard boxes, that's, that doesn't need to be tarped. That's all soaked already anyways. You know, if they want us to tarp it, maybe they should store it inside. I don't know. Because if I get to the customer and they're like, hey, why is this wet? I'm going to have to say, well, they left it out in the rain. And look at this. Look at this here. I'm going to have to take a picture of that. They bent it with their band. See that? You gotta be careful with these places. Oh, they did it here too. We've had a lot of problems uh, with damaged freight being loaded before. Well, not a lot of problems. We've had a few problems. They always fix it, but you just gotta make sure you document it. So there's more pink stickers, pink stickers, pink stickers, pink stickers. Where's the green stickers? Another pink sticker. There's supposed to be green ones somewhere. It's all for Weyburn. Oh, what? What in tarnation? Oh, I guess I'll have to figure this out. See, I don't like it when they load boxes like this because it's very hard to tie these down. Like, sure, it's easy to tarp it, but it's hard to tie it down because those boxes on top crumple, right? But whatever, we'll get it done. We'll get her done. Just came back to the pilot here to grab a coffee. And we're about to hit the road. So, these boxes up here, these pallets were the only ones I needed to tarp. So, I just put the one tarp on. And all this stuff back here does not need to be tarped. So, unless if you specifically request that I tarp the steel, then I don't. I did get a specific request, though, to tarp the cardboard boxes at the front. There you go. 
Let's go home. The ladies working the till here had such a thick southern accent, I could hardly understand them. They were yapping back and forth to each other the whole time, not really even paying attention to the fact that I was there buying something. They were yapping, 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 yapping. There was one white lady and one black lady. Couldn't understand a word the black lady was saying. Look, and I can usually follow pretty well. I travel down to the US quite a bit, down to the south. I can usually follow the southern draw. I couldn't understand a word she was saying. And the white lady, I could only pick out like two or three words here and there. I had to ask her to repeat herself three times. But they weren't really paying attention to me anyways. They were both yapping to each other the whole time while I was in there buying a coffee, not paying any attention to the customers. <laughs> I'm not complaining, I'm just like, wow, that was a thick accent. It didn't sound like they were even really moving their tongues at all. Huh? Wait, what'd you say? Was that English? Up and check the load again. Make sure that it's all still here. Well, nothing's falling off. That would be terrible. That would be just terrible. It's all looking good so far. The tires are even still there. Right on. What else we got here? I don't know. The little stuff is flown off or loosened up or whatnot. Okay, okay. Oh, well, you can't really see it on the camera now, but yeah, everything is still there. Go around, check all the straps, make sure that they're all still tight. I'll check each one individually. Make sure that they're all still tight because they loosen up. I stopped about 20 minutes, so 20, 30 minutes after I left. Uh, guess what you're supposed to do? check all the straps and they it all loosened a little bit the load sort of settles when it first gets onto the highway and then the straps are a little looser than they should be so uh, after about 20 minutes I came back came back here to check on things and yeah I had to tighten it up a little bit especially on these things under here under the tarp like I said they're cardboard boxes and I don't know why they load it in just cardboard boxes but cardboard boxes even with the big corner protectors they crumple underneath the straps right so you have to tie it down tight enough that it doesn't just fly off in the wind. But as you go down the highway, those boxes crumple more and more and more, and then suddenly the straps are completely loose. Right. And they're under the tarp too, so I have to be careful. Yeah, this is loose again. A little too loose, looser than I want it to be anyway. All right, so I'll give those a quick tighten. And then uh, I'm gonna make myself a sandwich or some food or something around here. This is gonna be our half hour break. I have just over seven hours available to me. I think seven hours and 14 minutes available to me to drive today yet. And the sun goes down a lot earlier than other parts of the year, other times of the year. So it feels like it's late already, but we'll be driving past midnight, I'm guessing. I gotta get close enough to home that I can do the rest tomorrow. I wanna get home in two days, today and tomorrow. It really sounded like that Dodge was having trouble pulling that ATV. Should have bought a Chevy. Same. 
It's 10 minutes to 7 p.m. here right now. We're just rolling into St. Louis, Missouri, or St. Louis, however you want to pronounce it. This is a big city. This is another big city. I don't know if we're gonna get to see the arch. The Gateway Arch, that's what they call it, right? So wasn't St. Louis once named sort of like the Gateway to the West or something like that? That's what Winnipeg's nickname is too. Winnipeg's the Gateway to the West in Canada. But we don't have a big arch. We don't got much of anything. We got a big fancy museum that went way over budget and took way longer than they said it would to build. I gotta get in that lane, don't I? I thought that lane was exiting. I need to turn right up ahead onto, uh, what is this, exit 196, Interstate 270 westbound. We're on Interstate 55 north right now. We got one, two, three, four, five lanes across both directions. Heavy traffic. Well, this isn't bad. Can you imagine, like, during a rush hour, it would be a lot worse. Right now, traffic's moving really well. For people around here, this is probably nothing. Like, people in New York probably laugh at this. This is probably like midnight traffic in New York or Chicago. Where I'm from, this is crazy. This is crazy, all right? We get excited when there's like a backup at the railway tracks or something. I'm like, whoa, look at all this traffic backed up. Sometimes we all get stuck behind a farmer. Ooh, stressful times. Turn right and then slight right in 100 meters. Turn right? Where am I gonna go right? Why would I go right? Oh, Walmart's right. Hey, I like your thinking, Karen. I didn't even notice that, there's Walmart there. No, we're gonna go left though. Coffee break time. About halfway through our day. Got another five hours to go. We've driven about five hours already. Grab me a coffee at this airy. In 400 meters, turn Airco, right on. Airco. Locally owned. Well, cool. I'm gonna park on the edge of the pumps here because I'm just going in for a coffee. Never been here before. We're in St. Clements, Missouri. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whoa! We we'll knocked the thing right over. Put the cream in first, and then put the coffee, and then you don't have to stir it. See? And you don't have to stir it. Life hack. too hot to test it yet <sighs> but I think it's gonna be good have you guys seen these new coffee machines that pilot flying Jay's got like this is not an ad or anything I'm just wondering they have this fresh ground coffee machine I don't know how long they've had them but I just discovered them and they're amazing they literally they, they grind the coffee beans up right there it's the freshest coffee you can possibly have it tastes so good every time I go there now I'm getting that it's like this big machine it's got like three big bins on top of it with like different coffee beans and then you got a touch screen in the middle, you put your cup under there and you tap it in, it grinds up the beans right there and mixes the water in like right, like fresh as can be. Oh, the coffee's so good. They didn't have that here, but that's okay. All right, let's get out of here. We got a long way to go yet. Another five hours. yippee doo boo Yay. You have five hours and 17 minutes of remaining drive time. I just told him that, Karen. Were you not listening? You never listen to me. You just yell at me all the time. Ding dong to you too, Karen. We're here in Floyd, Iowa. We've driven 1,052 kilometers today. No, no, Karen, we're going to bed. I only got 11 minutes left on my e-log. I gotta find a place to park. There's two truck stops here. 
there's this uh, truck stop just sort of right in front of us here. It's gonna be on our left right away. There's always parking there. And there's also a Loves Travel Plaza off on the right over there. The Loves is usually full, but it's a newer truck stop. Didn't always used to be there. I can still remember when it was just an empty field. For 18 kilometers. No! I don't feel like it. I'm gonna go into this one because I am more confident that I can find a parking spot here quickly. I only have 11 minutes left, like I said. It'll be 10 minutes right away. And I don't wanna waste my time looking for parking. Oh, there's a parking right here already. There's a park right there. I wanna go park off in the back on the side somewhere. Or it'll be quiet and peaceful. I'm going straight to bed. I'm tired. It's been a long day. 101,052 and a half kilometers, so that's 650 miles or so, 607. It's been a long day. Oh, there's like nobody back here at all. Check that out. All right, well, we're gonna turn around and back in right here. Hopefully nobody comes and parks right beside us, because that's usually what happens. I find a nice quiet spot off on my own in the back. Did some light turn off? of the lights. Hey! Oh, a yard light turned itself off. Okay. Actually, I can go park on the side over there. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go park on the side over here. Change my mind. Like I usually do. It takes me forever to park sometimes. Even when I don't have time, I have nine minutes left. Okay, right along the edge. Here. This is where we're going to park. Because it'll be quiet here. And it's pretty cold outside compared to what we're, we've are we been in the last couple of days. Minus 6 outside right now. It was plus 18 down in Georgia. That was nice summertime temperatures. It's cold. It's back to winter that quickly. Alright, let's tell the good people wherever I send this that we are doing... We are doing the sleeps now. We are doing the sleeping. Oh man. What do I have to say? What do you have to say for yourself? You have zero hours and seven minutes of remaining drive time. Well, good thing we're not driving. Let's send in our paperwork here. Push a few buttons. I remember sitting up after after every day, always doing the paperwork on the paper logs. I don't miss those paper logs at all. I love this e-log system. It is made it has made my life so much easier. So much less paperwork. And you know, the only people that are upset about it. Well, there's a couple of people that are upset about it. Some people don't like the technology aspect of it, and other people, they just want to keep cheating in their logbooks and driving illegally. Those are the only kind of people that are upset at it. Usually. Some people don't like technology, though, so that's a legitimate concern. You have zero hours and seven minutes. You already to told me that. Thank you. Time. Thank you. I'm not driving, am I? Come on, what are you, friends with Karen now or something? I'm going to complain to the manager. That's what you guys like to do, right? That's what Karens like to do. So thanks for watching today, guys. Uh, I'm going to walk the weasel, set up my bed, and I'm going straight to sleep. I'm tired. We're going to get up and be out of here in exactly 10 hours and 15 minutes. It's going to be great. I hope you tune in tomorrow. It's going to be a long day, just like today, but we're going to be home at the end of it. But only for a little bit. Because uh, tomorrow's Saturday when I'm filming. Excuse me. Oh, oh you I need to go to bed. Tomorrow is uh, Saturday, and Sunday afternoon, my aunt is getting married. And I told you this already, right? And I want to be there for the wedding. And so I'm going to be there for the ceremony, maybe some of the reception, but I, I might have to skip the reception. I don't know, because uh, I have to drive out to Weyburn, Saskatchewan, tomorrow, uh, Sunday night, because i got to deliver there Monday morning. And then i got to go to Regina, drop off the second part of the load. It's only one piece. I'm driving all the way to Regina from Weyburn for one tiny little piece. And then guess what? My reload? Back in Weyburn. i got to go all the way back to Weyburn to get my reload, which is going to Toronto. But I go home first for a few days. 
because I'm picking that up on Monday and I don't have to deliver it to the till the following Monday. We'll talk about that later. We'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe, please. A lot of you who haven't subscribed already really does make a difference. If you do, hit that subscribe button and we'll try to get this channel up to 100,000. It's taken us a little while to get there. We sort of got ourselves stuck at 95,000. That's okay, I'm happy with it because our, our views are going up, right? The views are going up, but the subscriber count isn't going up with the views. So there's a lot of you watching that aren't subscribed, so I encourage you, subscribe. We make lots of videos. Love to have you a part of the part of the TJV family. And if you want your face on the beginning of my vlogs, guys, I'm still waiting for more intros to be sent to me at tjv at email.com. Link is down below in the description. You can either send it through email or you can upload it to Dropbox and email me the link so that I can download it. Love to have you as a part of the vlog.